Let's take a look at an application together. So Laura imports perfume from England. So that's sort of fun because, you know, England has great smells. The cost of perfume is given in pounds, okay? And that's the currency they use, not pounds of something. So they are using the currency of pounds. And the total cost of each bottle of perfume includes a 15% service charge and a $10 pound, and $10 pounds, so 10 pounds, I should say, 10 pounds for shipping, okay? So 15% service charge on top of the price plus 10 pounds for shipping. Here's our job. Our job is to write a, com a composite function to represent the total cost of a bottle of perfume in dollars if the cost uh, of the items is C pounds. All right, so first of all, we need to know a currency conversion here. So here's a little list of currency conversions. Now, what's the price? So suppose in C pounds, what's the price? Well, the price is going to be, well, the cost of the item plus the tax. And the tax is what? 15% tax, so that's 0 0.15 times the cost. That's the tax. And plus, there's that 10-pound charge for the shipping. So the price is going to equal 1.15C plus 10. Okay, great. That's the price. Now, but that, that is in units of what? Of pounds. We want to convert this to dollars. So what do we see? To go from pounds to dollars, what do we have to do? We have to divide by 0 0.53. So let's do it. So here's the conversion function. We take the amount of money and we divide by 0 0.53 and that generates dollars. If we put these two things together, then what do we see? We see that the dollar amount for the perfume, if it costs C pounds, will be, and we now take the composition of these two functions. So what do I do? I take this function as the output and use that as the input into D, and so I see 1.15C plus 10 all over 0 0.53. Again, I took this function here, and I used that as the input into here. And so here's the M, and I now replaced it by that. And so there's the function. And there's a little follow-up here. The follow-up is, let's find the cost of a bottle of perfume in dollars if it costs 40 pounds. So if it costs 40 pounds, what's it going to cost in dollars? Well, all I've got to do is put in 40 for the uh, cost in pounds, and this will automatically give this to us. So that equals, yes, I know. It's going to equal, well, 1.15 times 40 plus 10 all over 0 0.53. And a calculator will immediately tell us that that's going to work out to be $105.66. And so we see what costs 40 pounds in this context, in fact, is going to cost $105.66. Again, the important thing is not the perfume but is in the fact that we can appreciate how we can find one function that will generate the price for this particular collection of items, buying perfumes of this sort, in, in pounds. And then we can use another function that allows us to take amounts in pounds and convert it to amount in English. If we compose those two functions, then we're going to be able to convert from the pounds amount to, in fact, the dollar amount. So in fact, through composition of functions, we can bring countries together and quite possibly figure out world peace. Anyway, enjoy thinking about composition of functions. They're extremely important in mathematics, and now as we're seeing, extremely important in international finance. I'll see you soon.